Hi friends. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick little mini lesson on what we're focusing on this week. If you've looked down below, you can already tell that this week we are talking about texture. And luckily, we, we kind of talked about texture earlier in the year, and a lot of you remember that um, I've talked about texture when you were in some younger grades. So hopefully you can kind of start to remember what you learned about before and it'll jog your memory. But if not, I'm gonna review everything really quickly and then there's gonna be some resources below to help you review texture as well. So I have my little makeshift classroom at my house right now. There's my little tiny whiteboard. And as you can see, it says texture and it says that it is one of the elements of art. And the seven elements of art are the building blocks of art. They're like the main vocabulary words that we go over all the time. So things like color, line, shape, form, those type of things that we learn about in every lesson that we do. So texture is one of those really important building blocks of art. It's one of the seven elements of art. And texture is something that's not only in art. Texture is all around us. We have texture on our hair. All the surfaces around us have texture. We have texture on our blankets. We have texture on our food. Texture is something that is all around us in the world, but it's something that we also specifically talk about in art because artists use texture. And there are two types of texture that we talk about in art. Visual texture and tactile texture. Sometimes these are called different things. Sometimes visual texture is actually called implied texture. Sometimes tactile texture is called real texture, but they all mean the same things. And I like to say visual texture and tactile texture. And if you remember, we used to do this. We would say visual texture with our binoculars because this is texture that you can see. And when we said tactile texture, that's texture you can touch and feel. So we would touch our hands together and we would say tactile texture. So there's visual texture and touch tactile texture. Visual texture is texture that looks like it feels a certain way, but it doesn't actually feel that way. A lot of artists use this when they are drawing and painting and making two-dimensional flat art that doesn't actually have real texture, but they want it to look like it does. So let's say you were painting a picture of a elephant. You guys know elephants are my favorite animals. So if you were painting a picture of an elephant and you wanted the elephant's skin to look wrinkly and thick and dry and rough, you would paint it to look that way. But if you felt that painting, would it actually feel like an elephant? No, that's just visual texture. It's texture that looks a certain way, but doesn't actually feel that way. Tactile texture, that's the texture you can touch, tactile texture, that's a texture that does feel that way. So maybe you are making a sculpture and you're making a sculpture of a dog and you want that dog to actually be furry and fuzzy. So you put fur on that dog it would actually have that real tactile texture to it, right? Let's say you're making a sculpture out of wood. You're carving wood, you wanna create a giant wooden hot dog, all right? That would have tactile texture. You would actually feel that wood sculpture and it would feel like hard wood. It wouldn't feel like a hot dog, but it would feel like the wood. It would feel like texture. So visual texture is texture that you can only see. Tactile texture is texture you can touch. And I have a couple quick examples of those really quick. Let's talk about tactile texture. This is my favorite stuffed animal. I've had this stuffed animal since I was a little girl. His name is Benji, he's a little tiny dog. And what kind of texture do you think he has? I see lots of furry, fuzzy texture. This is texture I can actually feel. It looks furry, it, it, it looks like it would feel fuzzy. When I touch it, it is furry, it is fuzzy. So this is real texture, it's tactile texture. Visual texture, let's see, I have, a big book of art and there's a great example of visual texture in here I'm gonna pull up really quick. I was looking at this big painting of oh, some women, some men looking at art and what I noticed about her dress and her dress. To me, this looks very shiny. It looks very smooth and silky. The artist made it look like light was reflecting off of the dress. But if I actually felt this, does it actually feel like a silky smooth dress? No, it feels like paper. And if I were to feel the real painting, it would feel like a painting, it wouldn't feel like a dress. But that's a perfect example of visual texture. All right, so hopefully that jogged your memory about visual texture and tactile texture. And I have a little note at the bottom, it says, where have you seen texture in art? 
So before you move on to the lesson, I want you to really think. Think about all the art we looked at in the past in my class. Think about art you maybe have in your house. Think about art that maybe you've seen at a park, sculptures at parks, or maybe you've been to a museum and you've seen art. I want you to think about the art that you've seen and think about where have I seen texture and art before? All right, I hope you guys are good and I miss you and I'll see you soon.